I like uh, to go fast and corner and uh, sometimes do stupid things. And it's much easier to do stupid things on a sport bike. I can't use what I can't abuse. Well, it's XP again, and uh, just finished making my first moto vlog not too long ago. And two things have happened since I stopped recording, oh, not that long ago. First one is I realized when I got off my bike that I was actually pretty grumpy about the fact that most people in this world don't know how to make their own tomato sauce. Um, so I figured I would tell everybody like very simple if I'm gonna go on on a rant for 10 minutes about how I can't believe people don't know how to make tomato sauce perhaps it would uh, behoove me to tell people how to make a tomato sauce so I'm gonna do that um, as soon as I tell you this little story I just got off my bike and I had to do something I had to go see somebody for work and uh, as I'm walking up there I have my helmet in my hand and I'm walking up there and I stop and I have a chat and this construction man a large construction man comes up to me and says, you know, you should get a real bike. And I kind of look at him and I said, well, that depends on what you mean by a real bike. Uh, at the time he said this, I was talking about um, how it would be cool to get a KLR for the winter. Because um, it might make it easier on some of the tougher roads. So his reply, of course, is get a Harley. And I don't think I made his... Uh, friendship list when I replied with, why would I get a Harley? I like bikes that accelerate. Uh, I don't have anything particularly against the cruiser culture of motorcycling. I think cruisers are awesome and comfortable and wonderful. Uh, it's just not me and not who I am at this point in my life. Uh, not to say that I would never own a cruiser, but it's certainly at this point in my life not anywhere uh, in my scope. So that's my little why I don't and wouldn't at this point in time ride a cruiser. So, back to the marinara sauce. Very simple, and uh, hopefully afterwards I can edit this all in, and you will see some slide cuts of how to make a sauce. So the first thing that you're gonna need to make a tomato sauce is garlic. Wonderful, antioxidant, anti-everything bad garlic. Uh, probably anti-kissing too, so uh, be cautious or get some gum. And get, uh, I don't know, three or four nice sized cloves of garlic and you're gonna basically dice them up, cut them up, make them itty bitty squishy. Um, I personally don't crush my garlic um, because I like to use all of the garlic and when you crush the garlic you end up taking out a bunch of skin. So I just get a big knife and just chop up garlic. It's very simple. You can buy pre-diced garlic, I just don't find it has as much fa flavor as the fresh garlic. So you get two, three, four, depending how much you like garlic, uh, good chunks, good cloves of garlic, and you dice them up. And then you get a saucepan, skillet, frying pan, saucepan, whatever it is you're gonna use to make your sauce in. And you put the garlic in there uh, with woo, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. I use primarily only extra virgin olive oil. It tastes better. I usually put in two small crushed uh, pepperoncini, which is itty bitty tiny little dried Italian hot peppers. And you just crush up a couple and throw them in there. And uh, then you just kind of let it simmer. You get the um, oil going at about medium heat so that it's uh, sizzling nicely and taking all the flavor out of the garlic. And then once your garlic just starts to turn slightly brown, you're going to add probably about a half a large can of crushed tomatoes, uh, depending on how much sauce you're making. This is if you're cooking for two people. Uh, so you've added about a half a can, large can of crushed tomatoes, and you're gonna mix it all in there. Initially, you're gonna find that the oil and the tomato sauce, crushed tomatoes, aren't going to mix very well. Believe it or not, you're gonna add about a half a cup of water because the crushed tomatoes is very, very thick. So you're gonna add about a half a cup of water and you'll find that as it heats up, the oil, the water, and the crushed tomatoes are all going to mix together very nicely. 
Now you want to have them going at kind of a low simmer. Uh, you want to get all these flavors kind of really working together and, and blending together nicely. Um, this is a basic sauce. This isn't anything fancy. This is basically, I came home from work, I'm tired, I'm grumpy, and I want to eat lots of carbohydrates. And the sauce, you let this sauce simmer, low simmer for about 10 minutes, and it's really all you need. You could take this sauce directly as it is, nothing more than garlic, olive oil, crushed tomatoes, um, and throw it onto some cooked pasta, and it would taste just fine. Uh, one of the other, something else you can do is when you're dicing up your garlic, is chop up half an onion. Uh, exactly the same. Let it all simmer in the olive oil. As soon as it starts to turn a little brown, you throw in your crushed tomatoes. Um, if you want to make a meat sauce, brown the meat uh, in the olive oil. Um, just make sure that if you're not using extra lean ground beef, you're going to want to drain off uh, some of that excess fat before you add your crushed tomatoes. Uh, some people mix it into the sauce, they say it gives it more flavor. Me personally, uh, I'm not big on melted fat, but uh, it's my personal uh, preference I suppose. And really, I mean, when you're making basic sauces, you can add anything. You could add mushrooms, you could add, uh, like I said, an anchovy if you like that saltiness. Um, you can um, dump anything you want in there and then depending on how cooked or not cooked you like your vegetables, you just time it differently when you add it to your sauce. Um, and that's about it. That's your basic sauce. Top with Parmesan, uh, make your spaghetti and then and, and toss it on there.